and good evening to you. Welcome to Romy Uncensored. Happy, happy Tuesday to everyone. Hope you guys did a great one. Because I did. And um, honestly, I just want to say shout out to everyone, like my regulars. Thank you so much, guys, for your support. It means a lot. I also want to send some shout out if it's your first time to pass through this channel. Please do yourself a favor and subscribe. Make sure that you ring the bell so that every time we are here live, you'll be notified immediately so you can join us. Uh, where we're having conversations um come over guys let's actually deal with this issue once and for all we can actually buy and my former i'm tired i just want to stand for my former and do what i have to do because for gandanga i'll do anything to protect him y'all mm -hmm. i'll do anything i'm just gonna wait to see who's gonna be the face to face <laughs> Um, yes, so we can actually voice the biggest regret, of course. <laughs> you know, dragging my former into the circus was the worst thing that can ever be done. Fafi, good to see you, Beatrice. Uh, crossing path with Thomas Mafomo, Zan Pief's downfall. Of course, of course, because finally he exposed that this is actually Zan Pief's shenanigans of giving out cause. Yeah, it's Zan Pief. See, shenanigans. Shout out, Hilda. Good to see you. So now, be, when we're just waiting for other people, because I'm like my Fumo's face liner, the god that is gonna cheer for you anytime, any minute. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have to play my Fumo. <laughs> you know, I remember this. I, mean, I remember this concert actually at uh, Harare International. It's, it's, it's what H I C C. That's what you call it here. Yeah. The that whole place. Um, you know, when music was still music, and I'm talking about Thomas Mafumo here. Who else can I talk about? So I wanted to remind you, you know, we can do so much. If we come together and unite Zimbabweans, we're going to do so, so much. Do not forget to like the live so that at least we can push algorithm and invite everyone to come through so we can have this conversation. Very important interview we're going to pursue tonight for Thomas Mafumo. All right. <laughs> we can do so much i'm telling you okay while the so-called elites are busy looting resources i'm telling you for us i'm talking about us the so-called poor people we are going to do a lot i'm telling you it's time to come together so that we can unite as a people of zimbabwe and forget about all these elites whatever you're calling them the cabal the thieves the group of people have decided to swallow our destiny you know who are holding us at ransom they have the nerve to think that we should never leave where they are living large not again y'all not again mm -hmm. so um i think we can actually try the wrong person and i say shout out to gandanga mafumo um you know 
I love him. I love his music. Actually, one of my favorite albums is Chimuringa 98. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you a story behind that song one day. I will tell you the story. All right. So water, we do not have electricity, schools, <clears throat> clinics, police stations, trains, planes. They, are, they have broken almost everything. What does that supposed to mean? We need to come together. Then we can unite. So to freeze in power. Bad news for the lecturers, really. I was shocked this evening when I learned that um, the lecturers are now earning, I think, about 47 rand, if I'm not mistaken. 47 rand, right? Mm. <laughs> right. So I'm going to read because this is my lady. And I also know that she's a lecturer. That's Fazia Mahiri. She's a lecturer. So she said, when we say Zimbabwe is a graveyard of dreams, this is what we mean. A typical lecture at the University of Zimbabwe, two hours long. Here, this guy's. A lecturer at the University of Zimbabwe for two hours while he's lecturing. He's earning $2.50 per hour. Which means for two hours, a lecturer will be earning $5. No, sorry, per day, right? <laughs> if it's $2.50 $2 an hour, a lecturer will be earning $5 per day. Which If he's, he's, he's teaching maybe two hours per day. So which means he's going to be earning Five dollars, five US dollars. How much is five dollars? Most like a hundred, nine hundred, no, hundred rand, right? Hundred rand, huh? Sorry, hundred rand. Hmm. You know, I have my son. Um, my young son is a student in, in America. Is a student at the university, and it's, he does part-time work. So, uh, for the work that he does, he gets paid maybe twenty, twenty dollars to about twenty-five to thirty dollars per hour. I'm talking about the young boy at school at the university. I just working like some casual jobs. Like the, the restaurant is getting 20 to 30 dollars per hour. Here we are having a lecture at the university, creating dreams, opening young people's minds, guiding them. This person has to be earning, this lecturer will be earning five dollars per day. I'm talking about five US dollars. What are you gonna do with it? What are you gonna do with it? Just tell me. So, so on this wedge, a lecturer can barely afford their combi fare to and from work. Imagine, you can't even afford to, for, to pay for transport to go to work and come back. Apparently, you cannot afford. You would have to work over 320 hours before you can send your child to university to take your own classes. Forget about the shelter, decent clothes, or feeding your family. This amount is less than the gazetted min minimum wage of an unskilled worker. Why would you bother wasting your time with postgraduate study, building professional experience, and mastering the ability to st instruct learners on complex principles? If at the end, they spit on your face with a secular like this, we need new leaders. So that was Fazia Mayer. I remember listening to a woman by the name of Gloria. She's also on, um, on, on YouTube here. Incredible woman. And she was actually speaking on Friday drinks uh, with, um, there was Tinashe, yeah. She said that the goal was definitely to popularize Zimbabweans, you know, so that they can abuse them anytime they feel. You can see people are being abused. I mean, musicians are being abused. Individuals are being abused to do all their dirty work. What was the point? What is, if you, if a, if a lecturer can't afford to even take their children to school or to university, tell me what kind of life are they building for themselves, for the future, for their family? Yeah, also it means majority in the country can't even afford any life. It's only the few who are busy looting. If you want to be part of that, then you must, you need to sell your soul for you to fit in with the big boys. And I'm telling you, those so-called big boys, a group of cast individuals. I just can't wait for a day that we are going to be calling them out by names, you know, <laughs> and we'll be seeing that the whole empire is collapsing and they will collapse. It's just a matter of time. Some of them think it's a joke. No. The time is coming, y'all. And I can only imagine how you're going to be waking up in that space when we are, we, are, we are reminding you of all the evil that you've done, the poverty you have created for our people. The time is coming. It is coming. And breaking. Again, talking about the elite. You know, the big boys. We are talking about ex-convict. Uh, ex and I'm talking about Henry Tarushua. Remember, she got arrested when she was smuggling. Um, um, you know, gold at Harare International Airport, which was caused actually whole pushing order when he reported that to go to prison, allegedly, apparently. apparently. So to try swindles one million US dollars from a uni Indian university, uh, sorry, name drops Munangagwa. So she 
when she was swindling this in investor, quote unquote, allegedly, according to the to the news here, that were reported by um, that is Zimbabwe, right? Ex Express Mail Zimbabwe. It was shared this evening by Temba Mliswa. Uh, apparently, Temba Mliswa shared the article. She name dropped the president's name, President Emerson Ranagago. <laughs> First of all, first of all, you also know that uh, she is the president's niece, right? Henry Shwai. There's also another Shwai that is employed at the as a as a as a at the board at ZBC. There is another secretary, I think, in the secretary in the president's office, Rushwai as well. So Henry Shwai, who used to be, oh, no, who, who is who is actually, when she was arrested, she went back to work. That was as the, as the president of the mining federation. She is now being caught again, swindling an Indian investor, one million US dollars. So, and then in the event of being questioned, she now robbing, she robbed President Emerson Mnangagwa in the debacle. Don't forget the gold mafia, right? When um, the court and court, you know, washed up, so ambassador, quote unquote, you been angel were called again, you know, the president robbing him into the into the drama. He was talking about the president investing about 250 million US dollars just for elections. Are you surprised? <laughs> Are you surprised? So Harari controversial businesswoman, president of the Zimbabwe Mining Federation, Henry Tarushwai, is a person of interest following allegation that she swindled in Indian investors of 1 million in Bosch mining deal, Express Mail Zim can exclusively report. So, um, can exclusively review, sorry, the chick ex-convict. So she's a chick, she's known for being cheeky. You know, cheeky, like when you're cheeky, hmm? how can you not be cheeky when you know that you have the men and women of power in your pocket? She says the cheeky ex-convict misrepresented to an Indian base Krongolomet, um, called NV Group that is now being represented by Colonel SSZ Du in Zimbabwe. Express Mail Zim understand that Rushwai's associate identified as Ashif Adu approached NV Group and claimed to be representing President Emerson Mnangagwa in foreign investments. Get that? Roping the president again. We, we just, we, I mean, we, we're just trying to recover from the sanctions that also, President Masamunango was robbed into the sanctions, and people are calling out that these sanctions must be removed. Here we are. The niece is being dragged into this scandal again, dragging the President Masamunango into the debacle. Now, a chairperson expressed his desire to meet the President and do business in Zimbabwe, and he connected Rushwai on the phone, who then claimed that she is speaking on the behalf of the President. Okay. Rushwai had expressed to come to India thereafter, but her visa was rejected because of her past deeds, which means her being um, you know, convicted. She tried a lot to get the Indian visa, but could not get it. Thereafter, she came to meet the chairman at Dubai with her seven to eight member team, whom she demanded to be put up in a five-star hotel and all traveled business class from here to Dubai and back. All details are with the police, said Sidhu. So, of course, <laughs> <laughs> she went with their buddies, eight of them, you know, to meet in Dubai for this business transaction. And they demanded that they have to stay in the five star hotel. I'm talking of like, you, you know, Dubai, right? Yeah. So when we talk of five star, we really mean luxury upon those presidential suits. Of course, why not as a president of Federation? I mean, you, <laughs> and not only that, you're also the niece to the president, whom you're talking about, who can't give you that five star hotel roping you the red carpet to sit like a queen, you know, enjoy the royalty, since you are saying you, you are close, you know what I mean, to the president, of whom, the president. Investigations established that Rushwaya told investors that he was President Mnangagwa's niece, and also she's telling the truth. Oh, they just think that she's related to Mnangagwa. She has no mandate to seek mining investors and, and or eventually dupe them. When pressing for payment, Rushwai allegedly threatened Colonel Sidhu that the deal would collapse if he does not pay at least close to half a million in green box. Ask Dehli for the following: Rev for the for about two hundred thousand, 
progress um, on ARDA is they are likely to terminate the deal since their requests have not been, have been met to date. Rotul Shwa in a message extracted from a WhatsApp a thread that leaked on this publication. In an exclusive interview with Express Mail Zim, Zidu confirmed he has reported the matter to Zimbabwe Republic Police. We have since inst instituted investigations. Circumstances are that Rishwai approached the, the investors and name dropped the president. Uh, his name following a series of meetings at number 101 Charlton Road in Arari. So she received a million dollar and uh, this publication is in pros possession of the communication with the NV Group Chief Executive and Proof of Payment made trail. The money was moved in three batches with the big chunk of it paid in Dubai. Rushra is said to be now evading the investors after squandering the money and taking them to a defunct mine at Mufuruzi Game Park where there was a rock field. She then took them to Filab Filabusi, Shangani and Bindura where geographical survey, survey proved that there was no gold present. Okay, so she was trying to sell. Hmm? Hmm? Huh? Hmm? Rushra could be reached for comment, uh, could, could not be reached for comment at the, at the time of writing after incessant calls she is also part of the controversial dossi gold mafia you saw it produced by al jazeera and she was convicted of attempting to smuggle six kgs of gold the her latest stunt could potentially soar relations between the two nations thereby going complete um, negation of the second republic's pursuit to force some more relations with foreign allies the story is developing and we are following quite very very interesting right there All right, so Japraza is in hot soup. Japraza, you know Japraza, the musician, your lovely music. She, she, I, I know that song, um, Chira Merela. I know the Chira Merela song, right? Which I really, I love this song. Um, you know, you know, um, you know. From the time I danced, you know, Tonga Guaro Gamba, and I was disappointed. I was like, no, I don't think I ever again want to follow music because I was so sick and tired. He's in hot soup, y'all. Doctor Walter Mzembe said the dishing out of fees. Oh, sorry of free cars has all the telltale signs of goblin rituals of sorts it is abnormal and absent consumption in a country virtually on its knees it is impossible to give everyone a car so the strange act of bizarre generosity incenses the greater public instead of endearing them to whatever project or cause or to the blesser we all know that what's going on with the issue of the cars they made it clear that this is actually Zanpiev. That was confirmed by um, Wikino Shivai. You saw the, two, the message that he sent out yesterday on, um, on Instagram when he was threatening Mafumo or asking Mafumo to apologize so that at least he can get a house and a car. But you know Mafumo being Mafumo, of course, <laughs> not Gandagayao. Not the one that's saying corruption and Yegangwa Mambembe. You saw it, right? You think he can buy into a car and a house? What is the kind of house compared to your peace? And, uh, you know, your peace and love. What is it? What is a car? What is a house? What is it? Ask people who have been in an abusive relationship. I'm telling you, when you're in, in an abusive space, ask those that have been in abusive marriages. You're going to get out. So tell me, what, what is it in that abusive state? I'm sorry. Will you take a car? You're going to have your peace and walk away and say, sorry, take your car. But as long as I've got my peace and I can speak my mind anytime, any minute, why want to take that away from me? Only fools would accept to talk this car and be controlled. Only fools. Only fool can do that. The gullible, the goons. Not a normal person can ever sow their soul to that nonsense. Nobody. Now, Ali has been really, really like having uh, a few today. Honestly, like he was... Focusing on Japraza. You know why? Because Japraza is always, you know, looking like this Porsche guy. And look the way that he folded when he was given this Mercedes Benz. And also being a musician, people were expecting to stand for truth and say, yo, you're giving us cars. What's up? What is this all about? So it says, PF has used the poverty it created as a weapon to capture citizens, institutions, and communities. I agree. You've seen people are begging right now. Some are writing stories. Some are sending their pictures from the time they were young, said we have been saving Zone PF. All of us we have been in Zone PF for your information. Yeah, we have been there. But bye. The moment we saw that, mm -mm, mm -mm, the way they're doing their things, not what we believe in, we walked away. Right? We walked away. So it's busy having a field day, really, 
looking at President Emerson Mnangagwa, he said it won't happen. Uh, President Emerson Mnangagwa and Jia Preza must give answers. We need answers. We need to know what's happening with the, with the Gwanda project, the solar project. Did you actually saw pictures that were circulating online? Fake pictures, photoshopped, pretending that the Gwanda project was done, there are solars all, the all over the place, and those solars were taken, those pictures were taken on internet. What a shame. So we can only have, have got to answer what happened to the Gwanda project. That's what people are asking. You also say, good evening, Edim Nangawa, what's the status of Gwanda solar project? People are not focusing on, on, on the most important issues. I've told you, Zimbabweans, we need to start stopping fighting and screaming and asking the right questions. How far with the Gwanda solar project? This guy was paid the money. This guy won the tender. How far with the project? How many years? How many years? So if you can't do it, why can't you look for other people who can deliver? You know, there was a day I was saying, I was, it's not even wise to actually hire people like from out of the country. You know, for me, I've seen roads being built here in South Africa. Yeah. I've never, I mean, I always see everything being done so well. People are committed to the job. Why can't you hire the right people who have the capacity to do the job? I do remember one of my, 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 my friends saying, uh, that was Finos, I think, he, was, he said, um, yeah, you know, not. He said he doesn't even mind if the government can even pay hundred million just to hire, I mean, specialists or experts to revamp the country and give it direction. He said he doesn't even mind. I agree. I couldn't mind too, because having a country where there's all this chaos, it's, there's too much of toxicity. We need direction. Where to from here? Put on vision 2030. Give us in black and white. Wanna see? Because what you say and what we are seeing all over the place. No, the two do not align. They do not align. Definitely do not align. They also say normalize reminding the beneficiaries of crime that they are doing so at the expense of the nation. So every person who received a car should know that um, they received the car at the expense of the nation. Because those cars, nobody knows where did they come from. It's just you can't just give people cars and you turn around and say it's for ZANPF. ZANPF is not being the state. They are the ones that are running the country. So when you say they are for ZANPF, ZANPF has to be accountable. How did they just wake up and start giving out cars? But it's an issue of no transparency and accountability. All right. No transparency and no accountability. Quite very sad. Quite very sad, honestly. Right. Quite very sad. You also say since 1980s, ZANPF was a criminal cabal from the bush. They went for the national vote. From the bush, they were on their way to go and loot. I mean, you have heard since day one. Um, you heard Gideon Gono. Simamako is saying the problem was overspending, corruption, and we thought it was small little things. It's, it grew and grew and grew today. No, it's like drinking water. People do as they please. You remember the Willow get scandal for Moshava, but Shava, you can see him fly back and forth. But the guy was robbed into all these scandals. I, mean, I can't even count the amount of corruption that has been going on within these camps. But uh, still waiting for Zach, you know, to, to finish the investigations. You know, Zach, Zimbabwe anti-corruption, the one that was a company, but it's, it's commission, I think. It's not company. But uh, I don't want to be like uh, Muchangwa's wife. Zimbabwe anti-corruption company is not a company. It's a commission. <laughs> it said 1989 official Mukanya released an album called Corruption. You remember which which put him in which put him in trouble with uh, Mugabe. It was triggered, a prophetic and the regime was triggered as well. That's why you know that's when it to leave the country because he was in trouble with uh, Mugabe. You had Kandora how you said no, this whole thing was all Zanpe, but using a uh, Wikino because Wikino is very is a uh, Yeah, so anybody who's looking for someone to use Vanit Zungu. She was found, you know, available to do all the Zungus. But because I'm, I'm not biased, I saw Lynn. Lynn, she's a supporter of Zanpia. She actually sells Zanpia for regalia. So she said, so we can safely say Wikno has become Zimbabwe's Oprah Winfrey. Okay. Everybody's getting a car. She's saying, um, you know, Wikno has become Zimbabwe's Oprah Winfrey. That's why he's giving cars everywhere. Excuse me. Then JC Geraldine, she said, using money, cars, etc., to silence public figures will never give Zimbabwe a stable economy. Most of those who are busy saying Wiki no Chibaba has never seen a pay slip or a debit card towards pension or savings, which is a fact. But they just say Wiki no Chi Daddy, Z Daddy, Chibaba. You know, <laughs> it's very sad. 
So he had offered Mafumo, I can give you a car and a house. But knowing Mafumo, I mean, I know Mafumo. What are you talking about? Mafumo is a goat man. That man, what is a car? A man who has been a well, I mean, a global musician. I mean, singing in very highly esteemed platforms. And um, what are you talking about a car? You see, he can't afford to buy an expensive car. He can't afford to buy, give them. To buy an expensive um, house. Of course he can. Of course he can. So he didn't, he didn't even bother. Um, I mean, he didn't bother. He made it clear that no, they must not lie that I accepted the car. I never did. Because, you see, to show you how foolish. And I'm, I'm, I'm addressing Wikno because he was the one that put out that message on, on, on Instagram. Wikno, if I had the nerve to fabricate a phone call that he was speaking to um, Gandang, was speaking to Mafumo. He fabricated a phone call. Fraud, fraudulently, you know, created a phone call as if Mafumo was communicating with him and said, no, Mafumo already agreed that he was going to apologize after he said the musicians are just literally poor. That's why they're accepting these cars. But because I want us to pursue that interview, some people haven't even uh, listened to the interview that actually prompted this conversation or, you know, it's very important. We're going to listen to Mafumo and listen to what he actually said. That interview is almost like 20 minutes. I want to follow it through because I know him. I don't, I, I can't, I don't want to people to walk around and be saying things that never happened. Mukanya is, is called classy man. It was done by my brother at Nehanda TV. So we're going to pursue that interview. Very important interview. Let's hear, let's hear what are they saying? What did my Mafumo say? Since they are lying that, um, you know, you will take the cars, you won't take it. And I knew it, Mafumo and Jakarta. I'll put my life on them. They will never take that. So you was talking about the issue of, um, you know, politics in Zimbabwe. You also spoke about Nelson Chamisa. He, oh, that's when he had to speak about musicians. And he made it clear, I've been against corruption and I will never take no cars. I think that's, I guess that's why they had to use car as an ammunition to see if you would accept it. So let's take a listen to my former place. Yeah, says it was Rico. He was one at the Nigi, 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 majority parliament. And as lucky, Nuguti, as soon as the Rubas Ravan. Uh, <laughs> 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 Do you think the Chamisa I found a good designer from Triple C? Mumu no support the red decision yake. Ah, uh, ine na ndinga ti anzi saka na kala tu saka ipa. Mm. Kana iya achuwa una andi andi funge zunge agudindi uti anzi saka na kala saka ita kala tu saka ipa. Wanu, do wanu fani wakunge wachi voisa wachi taura. Ine ni gori munu wanu. Kana wanu wachi una uti saka ita kona Chamisa. Do chaizo chaizo. Ruthie, <laughs> Tirukova Ganyi 
We are supposed to find the way forward. We are supposed to find the way forward. We are supposed to find the way forward. We are supposed to the so good to have seen this through good tonga as if one was a shoe picker. Murutonga chi, one was a shoe picker. Tani was a shit out about his runes of Kumba. I think Tani might have Yaka Wanda Panay Saga. Patrick Kangani Santi, Papi was a man or two tonga cars of some lee and a passport at his out of Panis Church. I work. Those are not the good tea. A Utongi Uripo, I was Utongi Waganaka. Mugans Gami Park is coming out. You can see a Lido and Yika, a fan we couldn't think of Gonia Quaji Soropozwa. Domira Wajin of Wabitika, Ia Tikanganisa. It's a problem. Munona's Nay Taisos. Do not go in and get a Sagaganganisa Muna Ripo. Anya Zagazaga want to see, sir. This is a hit one of Mugabe's years here. I see a Mugaba eat and who in the other guy behind his nyes, that is. This is a Kangas for Namgabi. Muruba. Each I that hit and I don't go to Avisa Mugabe. Mugam Funza, a Mimi goody, Mugabuza, and who is an Ugutinasmun who are Mugutu president. Mugabanga Kukangani Siraichi. We are got to us. This is our guita, Anna Tano to us. Ne 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 mune zaganaka. This is kubuta. Kunam gabe aga buta. Asa buta kunam gabe wa muga zikwa kuit kwa my elections. Again is ani shamisa. Aga buta zakari. Koka kozoya 2023. Aga buta fudi masimba. Ane niya zake zaka wandi siisa. Wana suse dimtami. Avata or good is how who in different the do Ruzi as singer foods way. Can I owe my generalist and no city, my generalist, my generalist, and Ruzi as a good of foods of moon who says to be ticket. Murugaji. One thousand numbers, Wagana, one generalist and no Zaga and a good state house, I did not and don't have it up and he interviewed a president. In any country, in any song, we need a woman. Because he is a person who 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 is a person a person who is 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 a now you know what you do on you. President, I was going to do on. Can I receive you? One who received a rubber watch you. You and you are as an individual. Who are you to say that? Who are you to say that? At it is the good, eh, Tito's Yaguti, eh, Panemura Onozi. No one is above the law. Ruban's visit. Papana Muna, Ripam Soro, Pem Temo, Iowa, Quete Moon, Wesa, Anotongua, Kanaga, Kanganisa. Uyo Moon, who am Sunga Togi, New Kanganisa, Wanita, Strom, Pofambasi, Inige Kupi. Mamma, 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 musicians at Piwa, Mota was in Babo. I'm now in Mukanya, in the Munotora, oh, Benzi, you could <laughs> oh my way, oh my, and this is your type of issue. That's how the history of the Dr. Rayega, the governor, 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 the Zimbabwe. the governor, 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 and as the series of Zavaita or Ravaji Piravan, good to our good Viravan. Tarisa was Kasagazo Sika and did not go to the corruption. Nana Zona guy. After eight years, Naga Komboza, corruption, that's Zona. Corruption. Mkomangu Bennett, she's a Mkomangu Bennett. I also come of Ubatan is I. Sagamaz Mota, you're Mokanya. Tora imota, mnora ambere. 
Ah, dinang dinang zangu moto kari kaini. Kana kuni jifamba ni moto kari angu inengura. No moto kari angu. Ine na dinis zoku ba zinu zewa mui. Dai dai o mu na noba. Di daga daga dai daga ramaji sabota wa na wa na zini daga dai dine ma farm. Dine ma mas ma mas moto kari. Dine ma mari. Di shita swadi noda. Andi ni siri ai siri o kai di angu ai wa. Ayo, ini ni diri murgu ya ondo. Sandaga zarwa, sandaga zarwa, ndi sina kana embe, na mai wangu, na baba wangu. Eh, sandaga zarwa, ndi sina embe, kana ndichia, ndichifa, ndichia, ndichia, zoke rafuti, sakari, seku ya kwa ndaka ita, ndi sina kana chinu. Azina, 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 azina. True. Ya. Azina, 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 az the third time, yeah, yeah, third time support. Eh, records, mama, we are putting that up there. Varugu, 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 saga support. You come, musicians, you are, 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 Aku ngoti ah ah ah, ikan saya itu ada kan juga jabre saja, tenda uti, dah tenda syukur nih si poci itu. Asal tak beli orang ngoti kan tengah naro, saya urombo, doa waktu si sapa saya itu untuk apa na, saya itu zawar kita, masalah sih ke ayu. Urombo urguan itu, guara jairu jairu ngoti masa poci, si si no sewanu. Awana wuzi warumbo warungo tu a cha muga nyama, e zanda ipi wao yuo moto kari yuo inga zaita, asa zuba siri nugu zidai moto kari zidiruku tenga, dai mari chende skwa i chende skwa kusipata ra, chende skwa kuni sume zinu ziruku shota mi guagua yaka ipa mu Zimbabwe, wanu haruku shupika e even kumaru wako wanu haruku shupika wanu da sipata ra wanu da ma clinics wanu da Ma kuno diwa ma ambulance anu shanda kuma hospital saga wanda sino diwa kuti mari ishandi sikuwe sino basi la rujinji kwe wanu kote kwete seje di individuals wafana wana zuzu zimotikari zao umuno wapiri zimotikari wana zuzu zimotikari zao zao waka wana nile so wari kuitia hizo so semi yusiki yao saga imuruko wapiri zimotikari muda kuti zite sehi Kana mawa pa zimot kari zo zo chenja ere magariru ya wanu mnika. Wanu 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 wakone kwa wasi gara kwa kanaka naka. Satiru kuru gira kugara kwa wanu kwa kanaka. Atisu kuru gira kuti wa sete ni individuals wa ite mari wa gare kwa kanaka. Tuna uti rujiji kwa wanu ru gare kwa kanaka wana waende kusikoro wa funde. Isu sita anzita kura ka takuto nzita pera pendi. Kuzwa, tapi rapi dah si terkui tira orang rujuk juru cawu yang masyuruk, susukur zedu, wana wedu aja siapa o, pono kudu o, tawasi raru gari, o gara o sekarang naga naga, kue tu kudu tibi rika, tibi rika. Magati mi petakata orang ni last time, last show ye ni muda kui tira ku Zimbabwe. Ndagambo ona za hembo famba recently Nick Mangwana chiti no Mukanya is free to come and perform Kwa Zimbabwe Nothing will happen to him Reaction ye nyu to that Hai wa inina Ndita hori kwenye munu kuzanzi He is free to Zimbabwe Kwa kutu come to Zimbabwe Zimbabwe hini kaya mbu kai No goz is free to come Kumba wangu Ha 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 because of what? Urugundi is free to come kumba wangu. Ndiyo kwa daga swari kwa. Ndiyo kwa uya anytime by ndiyo kwa uya kumba wangu. Ok, kwa mtiru kwa sekuita. Andi ni kukwana kukumbira munu, andi kumbire munu, ayo wakwete ini. Ndiri munu wevanu, wanu ndo wano ndita utiti zoke kumba wangu. Ndiri munu wevanu, usandata ura isu sukuta andisi. 
any political party, and this is the Kangar Mairis as well. Do you remember Evan Vanushu Pika? In the old party, I'm winning, but young Vanu, and the young party, I think a Marigari acquainted. Munu Wese, and Africa, and Ushu Pika Wese, and Africa Chimarengenia, and Africa Gana Masutu. I just So I love Mafumo. That Mafumo is really when we moon we You know, I've told you I've known Mafumo for a long time, and I love his music very much. I love him so much. Um, but he was right. You have seen how young young guys are already um, composing songs. I've seen actually Sekala's compose a song called Ed Fair. I mean, that other woman there from the hospital. What's her name? The chaplain. The lady. The chaplain. I saw her dancing, singing, you know, with that guy who sing, you know, dancing. And I'm like, that was it. That's what they were looking for. But it's sad to watch, actually, it's very sad because I can only imagine that you have been given the coral and you think, Zatoita. Yeah. It's, this thing is bigger than politics, you know. Our problems are bigger than politics. We really have to make sure that people get mind surgery. The minds of most people are stupid. What could be your motor? Now you've got this car, then what? You don't have a job, no, 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 not even no investment, no direction, no vision. You don't even know the future is bleak. But you accept those temporary gratifications. This is why, why Zanpef is playing people all the time. They've been doing it this for decades, popularizing the masses so that they can abuse them. And they are really doing it. And it's working for them. I've actually saw that every time they, they go to all these meetings, because the majority of people in the rural areas don't want to hear about Zone PF. So what they do is they hire a few people, like what Java did, hire those nurses to go to the airport. What the hell was going on? What the hell? But because if people are in, po in, in poverty, they'll accept anything. They'll accept anything. So they will, they will hire a few guys who act like they go sit at the front, check most of their rallies that they call rally, quote unquote, or if they can be Thanksgiving rally, whatever the case may be. Check the people that are at the front. What the hell is it? Why am I here? I'm hungry. I need to go home. Why did they leave me? I would have been home. And I don't, you know what I mean? But yeah, they know. Okay, so, yeah, Bambaira, for those who doesn't know that Mabure is a Mashingo language, Bambaira, for those who doesn't know, but you know why? You pauperize them. You can abuse it. you When you are poor, what do you do? Zimbabwe, you funny family, you know, those kind of people, and to make sure that at least there's stampede or almost everyone in the family, and those people are there. And they are the only ones when they come home and, you know, they, it's like they, you come where Louis Vuitton going home to people who don't even know how much that costs. But it's all about him. I must be seen being the only one who seems like I'm living a better life. Poverty mentality is the poverty mentality the problem. Not to say I must be proud that at least the town is clean. When people walk and see what I've done, the leadership that I've offered, it's not, it's not about things that I'm giving, but it's about what I've done, the lives that I've changed, the impact. No, it's not about impact. For them, it's all about, I want to be seen. I was shocked today because I actually saw the president's wife, Auxilia Wa, said that he was in, attending um, a function in Washington. I saw the daughter-in-law was with, the, with her. She was the one addressing the people. I was like, hey. <laughs> the daughter-in-law, you know, the, 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 the wife for Emerson Jr. Yes, that one, the first wife. Yes, she was uh, really very beautiful. I love that woman. She dressed so well. Um, you know, she was there talking and addressing people. But I remember You know what? Because that's what we allow. We allow it. We as Zimbabwean people, we allow. And they've already seen good I have another. You know, like you push, nothing happens. You push, nothing happens. You push, nothing happens. Now we can give you cars. You're not going to ask us. What are you going to say? Nothing. You're going to come back and worship us. It's there. It's playing out. Who is winning? I think they think they're winning. They're winning. Because we don't know the difference between right and wrong. People are so selfish to a point of saying, as long as I'm a farm, I'm good. What is a farm? What is a farm compared to generations? 
What is a farm? What is a house? What is a car? It is really sad. Let's listen to my former. Sagabu Bunza, about with Zimbabwe, I did so Mukanda to the whole night in Answer in your day, what is she? I didn't know we are any time and that I go and do wrong. I'm sure Zangue go pay the seer. Okay. And Akura in Anjaramba is changed up a stage to down Bubasiro, Amavishi Dika, or Guitos, or Guit, and he never go on to Andri, but he did in touch now. Wafana. Do not do a bad city. Yeah, good do not pick it up on all my dear good Zimbabwe. The name of Zimbabwe. Yeah, no one shot so Okay, I am. Um, <laughs> Sangati tangi ni ala siku tonga. Warumu opposition ni wacha misa. Mungada wati chikuwa gari. Ngatri geiku kwa mene kutamba politics ni wanu ka. Kwa suma gema atiri kutamba kutamba politics ni wanu. Iyo wanu wachishu pika. Mungu paona. Ngatri sa gei solution kuti wanu hidu wa gari saka naka naka. Tisa bire nyika. Sokutu wakutu kuna na gold mafia. E kwa zoeti kama 15 billion ya shai kwa e, Commander agriculture ya shai ya 3 billion Ati di mizu wabu Maoko akaipa e, Uchitosi Ati di chitosi kwete Iwe wa mnangako kana kwa unga niza ma billion Uchafa na u Tinozi kwa uzi puti nano gara miimba ini ita kuma Anzi ya 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 Iri wetu 1 billion Acha hita na yu That's a good question right there Acha hita na yu so, I will try to get the money. 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 I will try to get the Anything can happen. I will try to get the money. 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 I will try to Ende wana waenda watu enda. Saka ngati ringe ikuda rungati mba ilani zemu soro. Toa waka nyika. Toa ita kutichi. Toa waka kuti wanu. Tinga waba tirese yi wanu. Wasa supike mashupikira wawari kuita. Yes, no, yes. Tine wana. Ndika kuta wana kuti. Ndine wama wana wanda kasia. Wana ya ama. Ne wa sukuru wangu na ji. Wata kwa siya wari wana wadiku. Yes, no, yes. Awasati wama wana kana basa. Warungu ita ziya ziya zungu Unuzi ziya zungu tika na atimuka kusena atobo ziya kutano zita ingira na papi Asimu nuyane mwa wafana wafane zimuri zao Nyika haisikuwe ndamberi Apana chiri kufamba kwete Nenzire kustaziwa Imuka wafunza yewa muna nga kwa kutisa Makatura masimba Maitore la kutisa ite seiko Tita urile irizi ni ya makatore la simba mchibisa mugabi Maida, maida kuita sii, maida kuita la chiko wanu. E, chisha maida kuita chaisu, chaisu. Ende uko kuna Mr. Chamisa. Daka wa tumira, ngi hodi ya mdofa naka kutumira hoiwe. Nisho wa uza, nisho wa tauri la kuti. Wachamisa, simbarao ririmu wanu. Simbarao za ririmu wanu. Wango ni kusia zidi zi, zi, waka ita, waka turaya kuita ma negotiations, sikaramba. Waka turaya kuita ma votes, kufota, sikaramba kufota. Hapana <laughs> chiri kushanda ni wa mnanga kwa wane msuro waka omarara zikuru, no kuti, eh, wari power angry. Yes, yes, mnoona kuti, 
vaisa vana vavo mudzinzimbo dzese pamsoro vamwe vari ku military vamwe vari ku finance vari chichi zviri kuuratidza ichi zvikuratidza kuti vakangotora simba iri kutorira mugabe kuti vangoenderera mberi nezvaitwa na mugabe but iyo vari western mugabe muri kupona sasa anti zvo zvati kuda kuti tiiteka varume ka tiri kuda kuti tibatsire vanhu vanhu vari kushupika ndo vati kuda kuti tibatsire izvi zvokuru wisana izvi zvokuti hanzita rikora ma MPs tazodaida azubatsire vanhu kweti gadzirisa solution yenyika yekuti vanhu vadyika vachiguta vana vaende kuzikoro eh vavana zvipatara zvizi gadzirwe zva zvipatara kuno kwaenda ku hospital hospital ye kuno muno tone ne 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 gine shop yekutenga zvinhu grocery mwoji hospitali hospital mbeda chete unorara patient unoita wakuchunwa uzikara uchida kurara position unora unoto uchuna zilo kwenye uku munga zite munga wite mba daga enda kunuona mnina wangu wachiru wara isata vaiko kuko agaru wara nebaralia tika enda kugomu taka sugomu sha guma Agati tai zira agati wa muskundo na iri, e anga kara rapas. Tika zilo kona se yoga. Ote pasi. Yoga kara rapas. Adi zoka zatu na wita zatu na witi dinero hope njika iya zinesi. Tangu sika forty four years arare jinu kungo ita zaka kaka kaka ita in old western town. Ino zisite rewe, wamuda wewe, hakuna siti kakufusha kwe yugu. Kulo kulo chitu chitu driver, uche ita kuna na California huku. Usatu wa speaker tofuka about 20 kilometers, uteka wakute yuona California huku tiyo, California, mabili huu tiketi. Saka ini mune, mune, one tipe ka odein, muruku wane gwa nika hini mandiri? Eh. All right, all right. I think I think what I wanted to listen to, I've listened to. Um, it's really, really. He's giving such a very um, strong advice. People, man, gosatambani ni fungo zivano. Time, guys. For me, destiny is everything. You know, uh, vision, purpose is everything. Young people's lives have been messed up. It, this may appear like a joke, but it's a fact. We have a generation of people who don't even know how a pay slip looks like. How to even have a, a bank card? We don't even know how to, to, to actually take money from the ATM. Guys, this is heartbreaking. I've seen people come from Zimbabwe who don't even know how to use a lift. You know a lift? Yes. They are scared to get into a lift in 2024. Something's wrong. It's very deeply wrong. You know, you know I, I actually, like I said, I'm going to repeat it again that I don't even think that Zimbabweans are even more in bondage than the people that you're calling elites. They are in bondage. What stops them to, from doing the right thing? It's because they are in bondage. They are so swamped with the love of things to a point where they don't know how to actually do what's right. They don't know how to do right anymore. It's the, because they are in bondage. I can only imagine. I mean, if you look at Harare, Harare used to be a very beautiful place. But today, when you, when you see it, it's sad. It's like a rural. My growth points, that's how Harare looks like. The town very heartbreaking you know why because of them they looted what was supposed to fix our rain to make sure that it is maintained being the top class it was so that they can build houses and shawashas that can have, have a helipad on top of their houses that's the one that, that that's what happened they looted the man that belongs to the to to the nation to fix to buy equipments in the hospital then they have to start the money in dubai in in europe they give to slay queens to go and do shopping. I remember talking to someone, one of my friends was like, he's very close to some of these slay queens. She, they would travel to America with about 50,000 US dollars to do shopping. And I Louis Vuitton, you know, DJ. Poverty mentality. The man that has been looted. That's supposed to be feeding the poor. What a shame. What a curse. Disgusting. Really a curse to people that are wearing suits. That you are calling binga binga. There's absolutely nothing going on with those people. Nothing. Miserable people. You know that a person is miserable by the love of material things. Because you know why they think that they can find peace in things. No. 
Until you have a heart surgery, you will never find peace. You can have all the money in, the, in, in your bank account and still be miserable. You can have all that you need, houses, cars, and still be miserable. You haven't seen people committing suicide with a fleet of cars? I'm talking top of the range. Because the only time you find peace is when you love your neighbor the way that you love yourself. That's the only time you find peace. You can see it in your country. People are so obsessed with material things more than they can be obsessed with the love of the neighbor. We are no longer the same people anymore. Selfishness is the order of the day. That's who we are. What is it? You have been found with 6 kg of gold at the airport. You are a president of how much money you were on gold mafia. But you are still going to dupe someone a million dollar. Can you see? You become obsessed by the love of things. You think that things will satisfy you? Miss Henry Rita Rushwa heard from your CC here. You can have all the money in the world is to be miserable. <laughs> you can collect all that you think you can. You can have anything in your house and still be miserable until you understand how to treat your neighbor. Your peace is lying within treating people the way that you want to be treated. Seeing your sisters and brothers eating in the country. People are suffering poverty everywhere because you're just looting for yourselves so that you can be seen like you're better than other people. Shame on you. Shame on you. It said, shame on you. Shame on you. Look at other countries. They build their stuff. Top class. But look, you mess everything. I mean, I mean, really? My building's thinner. You can't even paint. When you see where they're sitting and having their own meetings, you remember a picture that was circulating where um, that was uh, Manika standing with the minister of ICT and there were cables literally broken there. People were like, firstly, fix the cable before you start talking to us. You can't fix a cable. In your own homes where you're staying, you can actually buy expensive cables from Dubai. But you can't fix a cable where you're sitting and having a meeting. Now, do you remember that office that was circulating last year where they were saying that this office, just where people were had given an... Um, a quotation for about, I think one computer was about 100 something thousand runs, if I'm not mistaken. And it went like wildfire. A data place had given the government uh, a tender. And I'm sitting on the other side. So you are ruining the entire country so that you can live in posh houses. How long is that going to last? Because honestly, your time is coming. Your time is coming. Your time is coming. You had my phone on your own. My phone to sell his soul. I've seen Sekala's releasing a song, Edife. I think some of you have seen that song and I was laughing. You don't even have to be saying Edife to have a car. You just need to leave your purpose. If the economy is great, you can pursue your purpose and still buy a car with. And it's still say Edife, but when you bought your own car, if you want to support him, it's your right to support any political party you want. But you ca I, ca I can't. I support Nelson Chamisa. But I'm not going to be begging also Chamisa to feed me. No, I work for myself. Supporting him is because I think he may be a better candidate to run the country well. But I have a life that I'm living. Where there's small is my life. <laughs> I don't need to beg Chamisa to have a better life. The only thing I need is a working economy. Where I can be able to thrive and do what I'm called to do. Looking at my gifts and talents. That's all I want. I don't want to be friend to Soren, so I don't believe in that. I don't believe in that. If I sit down with people, it's because I love you. But not because I'm going to benefit anything. I don't care about benefiting because I already have my source. God is my source. God is my only source. No one else. You know why? Because people die. People change. But God never changes. So he's my only source. He's my one and only source. Now, we need to move on to Mads Baba Ishmael cult, another cult. And you see, most of these shenanigans that are going down in the country just boils down to the fact that we, have, we need leadership. And I'm saying this not because I'm disrespectful. No, I believe that even if we can have a president, we must have leadership. Let's look at a country like America today. They may have their own issues. Joe Biden is really old, we can see it. But that country, people are thriving in their own way because... The economy is allowing young people or any person to do whatever they want to do and still be able to, su to, to sustain their lifestyle. You know what I mean? But we have a lot of um, liars. 
Liars. You know what I tell you? Liars. If you can listen to what Muswere said today, before I even pre uh, proceed to Mazibaba, I would want you to listen to what Muswere said when he was having a, um, an interview with Tech Mag, um, that was Tonio. What a liar. What a liar. And I'm talking about minister. This is a minister. You know, the minister that was being accused of sexual assault lately by that lady that was working at the ZBC? Yes, that Muswere, Mr. Muswere. Take a listen to what he said, the lies they tell. The United States yesterday uh, said that this opens up an opportunity for Zimbabwe to reform in terms of uh, uh, human rights abuse, corruption and stuff like that. What is your position as far as the allegations of human rights and corruption are concerned, which is what they say is the major reason why they're having sanctions on Zimbabwe? Uh, Zimbabwe is a country with enough institutions that are equipped, that are resourced to be able to develop our democracy. The background is that historically we fought for our democracy. We fought for one man, one fought. The issue related to political persecution of political opponents is absolute nonsense. Given the reality that uh, there is no known record of political persecution of any opposition politician in our country. Uh, the reference perhaps could be uh, that uh, the American government should be able to separate uh, political issues from common criminal issues uh, and of which in terms of our laws of our country no one is above the law and anyone who is going to participate in illegal criminal activities will be arrested in terms of the laws of Zimbabwe. And in terms of corruption, the Second Republic has strengthened and consolidated legislation, capacitated and resourced anti-corruption institutions. They've, under the leadership of President Didi Mnangagwa, we have witnessed a number of high-profile corrupt cases being prosecuted and the united states of america as i've indicated is not the prosecutor general of the world neither is the united states of america the human rights defender of the world we practice democracy in our country for our own good and in terms of our laws and in terms of our constitution for our own good they say people like uh, uh jacob ngari vume Jobs, Kala, Fazemayer, and even Opwell, they have been prosecuted on crimes that do not exist, and these are political prosecutions, not criminal prosecutions. What is your response to that? Anyone who incites violence ah. to be meted on any citizen of the country will be arrested, prosecuted, and be with a very viable judiciary system. We need to separate political issues and common criminal It also underlines the importance of our democracy. Let us not the church to fail the United States. You heard him. Did you hear the lies that he told? Does this sound like someone who can actually work in the government? This man, when he was talking. Like, you know, it's one thing to accept that, no, but I think one or two, three, four things were wrong. And I'm sure, I, I, you know, we will make sure that we adjust or we change certain things. I don't like... Um, the culture that people are perpetuating, like, no, don't say it. No, they're going to kill you. No, they will hate you. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't come to live for anybody. I came to live for myself. Okay, first and foremost, I live in a world where we tell the truth. I was raised to tell the truth. Even when I lie, I take responsibility and I make sure I sort out whatever mess that I cause. And I expect these people to do exactly the same. Is when they are wrong, they can take responsibility and sort the problem out. But whenever they lie that I never did something that they did, no, that is a problem for me. That definitely does not work for me. Those lies doesn't work. The minister is lying. He's not telling the truth. He's right lying. Very sad. Now you see why we have all these challenges? It's because we don't even have people who sit on principle. They, they don't stand for anything. It's whatever happens today, tomorrow I can be, wake up and be this. Tomorrow I can wake up and be that. So some of these laws only work for certain people. They don't work also for the other people. You know what I mean? It, yeah. It, and I'm saying that era is going. It's, it, I wish they can actually realize that the winds are changing. This era we are moving on is the era of truth. People are not going to back off. 
They can't fold anymore. They can't be manipulated and abused anymore. It's truth or nothing. It's truth or nothing. Whether you like it or not, it is time. And like I said to you, before freedom, truth has to be told. Otherwise, there's no freedom. If we can't be able to point and say this person is wrong, and honestly, and we need to resolve these issues, then we are not willing to have a better Zimbabwe. Because a better Zimbabwe can only come when truth is being spoken. And respectfully, right? Respectfully, if we want our children in the next generation to do well, it will take us to stand and accept where we are wrong and resolve issues. A lot of stuff needs to be changed. A lot of lies need to stop. People need to take responsibility. This issue of saying, I know so and so, I can do wrong and get away with it. I'm just watching to see. We are following the story of Henry Troy Schwartz. This is not the first time she escaped prison. Again, remember last time when it was wholly suspended, but she was caught with six cages of gold. To my surprise, there were guys who stayed in prison who were caught with about a few grams of gold. But six kgs, the woman escaped the prison. Time is coming. Everyone is going to be accountable to all their wrongs. Let me tell you, there will come a time that the lead will come off. Okay, that protection won't be there. And each and every person we've done wrong will be taking responsibility. And some of them, it will be very sad and, and unfortunate because... Um, you know, whenever you say, you can't even say anything anymore because people are always going to remind you, but you are the cause of our problems. You don't even say a word. Don't even say a word. Just imagine people knowing very well that we are in this predicament because of you. History will heavily judge majority of young people, especially the young. We are being used by the people that have very few hours to go back to heaven to be the father. You know, <laughs> you're still young and you've got so much ahead of you and you are being used to do the dirty work. I hope you're going to be standing for yourself because history, honestly, will heavily judge majority of people. So now we're going to look at this cult. This is a heavy, heavy cult. But you know, it's easier for this cult to thrive. Bear, bear in mind, this is not only Mazibaba Ishima, the only cult in the country. There are lots. Some of them are wearing suits in the country, looking all polished, talking a good game. But yet they are satanic and diabolical. Nothing godly about them. Let me just tell you about God. Easy peasy. I've been in the church all my life. Literally. All my life. I've known God. God is my everything. I've nobody except God. I've told my parents. I don't phone. If I can wake up today with a problem, I don't phone anybody. I phone God. I sit down. I have a relationship with God. I talk to God. <laughs> so I know how he works. Most of the things I'm seeing, all this drama, are simply jokes. Literally jokes. God is a father. He's a daddy. You talk to him anytime. When things go wrong, you can call and say, Daddy, come and help me. He's a father. Anyone can speak to him. Whether you drink or don't drink, you go to church or you don't. It has nothing to do with the four corner holes. It has everything to do with the relationship with the father. Don't let people lie to you. Church has nothing to do with the four corner holes. It's bigger than that. It's a relationship with your father. That's why when things get tough, even if you have never been in the church, you're always going to know that I need to pray. Why? Because you know you have a daddy. God is our father, all of us, and he loves all of us. So for those who think they've got a better hotline that goes to heaven, they're just lying to you. They're simply playing you. It's a dirty playing with your mind. God is your father. Know that from today. So this Mazibaba here, when you hear the story, is quite heartbreaking. But you know why? Because environment accommodates nonsense. It accommodates nonsense so people can do as they please. This man had the nerve to let people sell their houses. People were selling, listen, to sell their houses to go in and be manipulated by a man who is literally deranged. This man is a psychopath. <laughs> but he was manipulating people to sell their homes and come in Buddha plastics. You know, let me tell you, I, that's why I love Buddha. I respect Buddha because Buddha is very straightforward and he's open. So if you want to go and be a monk, if you want to be, go and be a monk, you literally leave your own everything because they believe that we don't believe in material things. The Buddha believes in service. You know, that's who they are. They don't respect material things. It's not important to them. And by the way, I also don't even put value on things. That's why I'm, I'm surprised and shocked when I see people can kill for a car, kill for a house, for the dinner, to be seen where get into a parliament, a, simply a building. I'm sitting on the other side. I'm like, this person is mad. They're crazy in their heads. They don't even know what they're doing. But Buddha is clear. 
If you want, you can leave everything, go to the monastery, and be, uh, if you want to be a monk, and you can sleep in those cabin, you know, and you begin to go through that spirituality and discovery. But you know what's fascinating about Buddha? Is when those people come back into this world, they are wise and smarter than any other person you ever meet. The monks are the most intelligent people, very spiritual, and they can actually be able to tell you. <laughs> because they don't put values on things. We are all dying for material things, running after stuff that are not important. There's nothing in this world. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Look outside. Nobody owns the space. No one. But this Bazibaba, whoever is called, take a listen to the stories. If you hear the stories, unbelievable. Unbelievable. But it's possible when um, there's no leadership to look after the people and really be able to teach. I'm looking at where are the members of parliament? Where are the councillors in the city? Where are the sub, the chiefs, the leaders, social workers? Guys, are you telling me that when I'm sitting in my area where I stay, I know very well what's going on here. I know I can go to the golf course. I can go to the, to the mall. I can go around the sea. I can run. I can go. To, I know what's going on in the city. So people actually know that there's a, there's a farm here where people are being held hostage. Because remember, stories are coming out. And they are not willing to tell the truth. They say people are in danger. Again, boasts on the fact that there is no leadership. That's why people can do as they please. You can lie to people anytime. You can use the president's name and do all your looting and without no accountability at all. Anytime, anyway. You see, a um, so called unquote ambassador of large who claims to be a prophet. You saw a prophet. I'm talking about Yuban Angel. He claims to be a prophet for real because the stories are very dark around that man. But he can come, you saw him. No accountability about all the wrongs that they do. You had last time that people were literally stealing cars from South Africa to Zimbabwe. And again, his aides, aides they mean the bodyguards, if, if, if they were correct. That was actually reported by Newsday. Again, using the president's name, President Emerson Mnangagwa, when they were doing those um, illegal deals. Very, very, like, it's, it's sad, man. It is sad. This is a president of a country. A president of a country represent a nation, which means I and you. Everyone else in Zimbabwe. But he can do whatever he wants. Mazibaba does what is a please. Take a listen to the stories. Very sad. Sure. Oh. 
Mainta mabasa yake. Kusakura minda. Wanawe... Minda minda yake. Minda yake. Ani kachita kuti kana taku watu nongo yote chini chete. Alright. Matumia na mimi nyumbani tasi. Kuna ubika sipo. Wachungu siku ra chibika chika fuka na chikwa mambo iko kwa ina anunzi mambo ishima iru. Wivaka mpasi teru kuti mambo. Alright. E. Saka. Tio pa ibi kwa chika fucha chupa pu. Chopi wa wanu wosua ni kwa ripo wa chibika sipo wa chita shuma basa shuka si ana si ana shuma wako Sipo zae nzi zae tengeswa Sipo ezi kana pasi sina chibake chikuti wanu wa bike sadza Sipo ezi <coughs> Sipo ezi zino pa zaenda kuma purasi mamu ya wakuno toka sadza Kuno tengesa Kuno tengesa kutu wanu wa chibake Uwongo Saka maizo pi wa chibake ili mzi mbao Mwena mwano pi wakana kafai firichaka mwechete onzi chama suwa matatu kana mana uchijiwa Nevana Uwongo Maikuwa na manje. Kana ukasa kuwa na ibaita la utamukumbi zani. Nungu ujika isu suu kwa nila na isu suu. Unutita utu kwa ni. Kwa kana wana masi na ukuta. Aa. Wanikuwa kutu nzi guta isu suu wa mapini. Maina mataka nga ni pasu ndu pasuwa. Mainda ku. Pane pa mai unga na muinda mono na mati. Akucha unga nwa wana wachina mati wana 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 Chaka nama takarecha mirila kuya kuike kutitinko oh. Nika yechinko paradzwa Istato mi mkena nisaka hakuna matu Hakuto mbona matu? Hakuna matu Hapana pa maimbo ungani? Hapana pa tayungu anachishina matu Maingu rara mamuri huo? Uongu Sure Kwa vana wa yenda kuchukuri? Vana wa mfumizu kuyenda kuchukuri? Hinda? Kana mabeta vana Wa mfumizu kutura Hinda? Anuta wala kuti ndio mutemu wangu Wanuzo ni pandu kila Haa Pana wanu waka wanda uja kadia Haa Ma hundred families na anu Anusika Hundred families Saka wanu wanu vumizere uzo buda yiko kwa mchibu ya kuzimba zengu Asuti ndiwa Kwa zimba za mnenge makasia kumata hundi Mnenge mchitu wanzi zitenge sayi zimba hizo uzo Kana matenge sa Mufume ya chumu mupa mpurofika Murume wangu waruda kutotenge soo imba ya anku ya njiru kugarane muri These are simply counts, but does that sound familiar to you? Because let me tell you, majority of people are saying I'm going to church today in Zimbabwe, I'm going to counts Not only Zimbabwe, I think Africa has just messed up Counts, you know, cultic powers They are not pastors a church has always been a place to worship, to go and pray. But no, it's no longer a place to pray. It's a place to say, bring us stuff, bring the money. It's all about bringing stuff, bring stuff. Cults. It is said, but it sounds very familiar. A lot of people going to the same churches and you know they can fight for a pastor. You know those people that if you say something about their pastor, <laughs> if you say something about their pastor, they will tell you, you're going to be cursed. You know, no, you be, be careful what you're saying about the man of God. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You are speaking to a highly anointed person. Just because we don't say much and we are not holding microphones and be deceiving people doesn't mean that we don't know God. We know him very much well. So we know what we are talking about. These are deceivers. They are liars. They just take an advantage of the poor. That's all they are doing. They are finding their lifestyle. They're living poshy, poshy cause, poshy lifestyle. And the church is suffering. And they keep on telling you, no, pray. Pray. I went and I tweeted and I said to Mr. Makandua, Mr. Makandua, come here, I want to ask you a question. What a solution do you have for the church? Because you have people who are coming to you, asking you to say, please, pastor, I can't afford to eat. My husband is, does not have a job. What advice do you give them? You tell them to go and pray. Why don't you talk to the ministers and tell them to say they must stop looting the money because that money should create employment so that these people don't come for prayers. It's simple. The solutions are there. But they'll tell you, go pray. No. Not everything requires prayers. Sometimes it requires taking action to do the right thing. This is very sad. But a lot of people are being deceived today. In the name of, I'm a prophet. I'm anointed. No. Everyone is anointed. For your own information. For you, being a teacher is anointing. To be an accountant, it's anointing. Not everyone can be an, an accountant. To be a cleaner, it's anointing. Everybody is anointed. They're just deceiving you. 
want to look superior, like they've got a special hotline, is a lie. Real teachers of the word don't even do that. They are very humble and calm and they believe in work. But these ones don't work. They just go tell you to bring stuff so that they can live their fancy life. They won't. You can hear. You go sell your house. They'll tell you that wait we are in, until Canaan comes. You don't pray. Does that sound familiar? Most churches, people don't pray at all. They only come for things. Pastors just want money to feed their own lifestyle. Deception. Manipulation. But you must remember two kingdoms are fighting for your soul. The kingdom of Satan and the kingdom of God. And some of the places that you are in are kingdoms of Satan. That's just masquerading as churches, but they are not churches. And I'm telling you, they are not churches. Real churches will encourage you to have a relationship with God. Not with them, with God, with the Father. And you can pray, read the Bible, and leave what the Bible says. It's that simple. It's not complicated. You read the Bible and you leave it. What it says, that's what you do. If it says stop, you stop. Not what the pastor tells you, I'm the only anointed person when I move here, you guys must kneel for me. We have seen men in Zimbabwe kneeling for a woman. There's that woman in school, she's, she's called Mrs. Wu. She walks like a man. You know that woman? Men are kneeling for her. And I'm looking, I'm like, what the hell is that? But it's deception. Because they're using satanic powers. That can control your mind so you don't think right. Because under normal circumstances, that looks weird. But no, it can look weird if you are saturated with satanic and demonic forces. It's normal to you. It is said, but you had cults, real deep cults, real deep cults. Very heartbreaking. That man should be locked up. Be locked up. You heard he was out of prison, but people never did background check. They just follow whatever any man says, yours is right. Don't undermine the power of resume. If people tell you that the pastor is busy sleeping around, don't play with it. Don't say, people are lying about him. No, he's not the only pastor, <laughs> right? He's not the only pastor. I always say to people, listen, I've known um, Tudor Bismarck for decades, literally, from the time I was young. He's a preacher of the word. Tell me if you have heard him that you have heard scandals about him and women in, in, in Arari. Tell me. Why? Because he has his good boundaries. He moves around with his wife most of the times. He loves his wife and he loves openly. He raises his children. Well, you all can see. But these men, people can tell you he's got girlfriends every city that he goes. And you still believe him. He's a man of God. You still defend him. You can hear he's raping people in the church. You're still protecting him. It's the people the problem. But again, sometimes I don't blame you because they use muti. They use Mishonga to actually mess up with your mind. If you can hear what those pastors are doing in the churches that most of you are going, that they're actually rituals that are being done on those doors. Around those churches, there are rituals being done so that when you come in, you won't even see. And some of you, you think, oh, their churches is packed. Those are illusions. It's a satanic cult. They will build illusions like all oh, the church is full. They're not people. It's your, in your eyes, but those with spiritual eyes can see, no, there are no people. We are living in very dark times that you have to be very much spiritual to understand how the world functions. Very dark times that we are in. Very dark times. Look what's happening in your country, in your neighborhood. Children have, don't even know school. They don't have schools. They are told you to wait for God. Very, very disappointing. And to ask these ministers, that's their job. Members of parliament. But now we are just in this chaos. You know why? Because majority of, um, you know, you know, political space and satanic powers and, poly, and, and these fake pastors, they are interlocking. It's a syndicate. It's a, it's, a, it's a diabolical space. People always tell you that no, politics is dirty. Why are they saying that? Why is it people fighting Shamisa whenever you drop a, a scripture? Because kingdoms are fighting. Kingdoms are fighting. This is fight of kingdoms. You, you need to understand what's going on right now. It's two kingdoms that are fighting. The kingdom of the devil is fighting to never want to let loose. Whenever you see things turn ugly, the Satan has come into the space and is very comfortable. Drug addiction, it never happened in Zimbabwe. Robberies, never happened in Zimbabwe. Prostitution, we, 
as much as we knew, but it's worse today. Counts, you can hear and head off. But you know why? Because the devil is in the neighborhood. Sometimes I'm like, he seems to be having his headquarters in the place. Because what is happening is abnormal. It is abnormal. That's why the real men and women of God should rise up. Don't let people tell you, don't pray. You better rise up because the enemy is too comfortable there. It's way too comfortable. Now we're going to move on to Miss Linda Masarira. Miss Linda Masarira is talking about um, that. You remember last time she was uh, alleging that uh, some people had to be asking to, you know, for sexual favors. But now finally, and I'm, I'm thankful. I'm thankful. You know why I'm thankful? Because... I know she doesn't like Chamisa, right? So I thought maybe that was the reason why she hated him. But no, 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 no. It's not Chamisa, apparently. She said it was the, these were the leaders. You know, the D, what do you call it? PDP. Yes. She's alleging that the leaders in PDP are the ones who ask her for sexual favor so that she could get a position. So listen to me, Selinda Masara, alleging that, um, so who, I'm asking myself, who? I mean, the PDP leaders. Whom was she referring to? Yo, you know who is in the PDP leadership. Take a listen, please. That's why you see that most of the cases that have been reported are still hanging <laughs> at our police stations here in Zimbabwe. So a lot still needs to be done by ZRP, by the Home Affairs Ministry, to ensure that um, the process is expedited so that we can get justice from the cyberbullying, gendered disinformation, etc., etc. Okay, uh, there are so many cases which have been rising that women face sexual harassment in their line of work. Have you yourself ever faced that? Plenty. Can you Plenty. Please elaborate on that? Um, I remember in 2017 when I was making a decision on whether I was going to run or not, I was still in the People's Democratic Party. Um, one of the leaders actually wanted to sleep with me for me to be able to run under their party as a candidate for our central. And I was clear that I wasn't an object and I was not going to ban him so that I could get a seat and that if I was going to do anything, I was going to run as an independent candidate. If you remember, that is when I launched for another central seat because there's a certain v of value that I attach to myself. I do not have to be someone's object or someone's concubine for me to make a mark politically, for me to represent the people. But uh, women have been reduced to that in most political parties where if one wants to participate, they're told a whole lot of conditions. And it is said that we are still that archaic when it comes to political representation. And I would allude that to the lack of financial independence, lack of financial capacity, especially by women, for them to be able to juggle through the, the nasty, dirty political terrain we have in our country. It is sad and absurd, but this are some of the truths that I have to say that most men actually pay their way to be candidates. They buy people because they've got the financial muscle, but most women do not have that financial muscle. That is why I'm always speaking out and telling women to start being independent, to start having their own properties, their own businesses, their own money. Because if you do not have money, you will not survive in our political economy. You will not survive in our political terrain because it is highly monetized. And for you to survive, most women have actually survived. Waka Rembera, the masculine, stronger political men would then become their shield in the, in the political jungle. So that is how messy our political terrain is. And we still need to do a lot to make sure that women are financially independent. And it, ought to, it also starts from the mindset. Young women are supposed to stop um, that archaic way of thinking that I have to get married to a rich guy, a guy with an iPhone, a guy with a big car. The mindset should now go to I have to work hard, buy my own iPhone, buy my own car, start my own company. You know what I was telling you outside. Women in journalism in Zimbabwe, you disappoint me. We only have, I think, one or two 
uh, newsrooms that are run by women, but we've got many women journalists in this country. What is stopping you from starting your own initiatives? This is what we want to do. We want to empower women. We want women to have their own money. We want women to be able to stand up and say no to sexual harassment. One of the primary reasons why women continue to be harassed is that they're not financially strong. And sometimes they face that harassment, but they don't realize that they're being harassed because they think that I really want this so bad. So if I do this, it's not a problem. It's a one thing, a once off thing. But it never becomes a once off thing because whoever has given you money to campaign will come back again and want more favors from you and you cannot deny them because they'll tell you they'll get you recalled. There, you know? And at the end of the day, we have had a lot of MPs, councillors who are useless because and, and move a motion. But whoever pays the piper determines the song of the tune. They'll tell you you're not going to move that motion because you also lose your voice in the process. So we want empowered women, financially independent women, who are able to stand for themselves and say, I'm going to do this. But as long as you're not financially independent, you become a pushover. All right, the bottom line is that everything, everything that she says boils on to the fact that the economy has to be fixed. You know, honestly, I don't know where there's all this mantra of women, men, all this stuff. Like, yo, I'm just living my life. And if I care, I mean, I meet men and I, I mean, I meet women. To me, it's like every person should fulfill purpose. Everybody. Whether a man or a woman, we are all called to do something in the world. You didn't just come here so that you can get married. No. It's just that our culture was very much centered on marriage more than anything else. And women will always be. But things have changed. You know what I mean? You look as a woman and look at your life so and adjust one way or the other. Be a mom, a wife. You know what I mean? There's a lot, man. There's a lot. There are layers into the whole, the, in the whole conversation. It's not, it's not like a wide straight line. There's a lot to really um, you know, talk about as far as women and men are concerned. But to me, I'm like, every person should fulfill purpose. <laughs> and with people fighting, it's about politics because most people don't have jobs. I mean, I'm like, I don't care about being a politician. I care about having impact in the world. Touching lives. I can go to a school today and help young girls to do something that can make them better. To me, that's impact. I can see a few people and be of a blessing to them. That's impact. I don't have to have a title to do something. As a matter of fact, I don't like a title. I don't like titles. I just like to be called Rumi. If you call me Rumi, we're good. So I'm, 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 I don't understand why Zimbabweans are so obsessed, like majority of them, obsessed with this political... No, I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on. The only reason is because the economy is not great. So anyone can have another job or doing something, running a business. And that's what many people should focus on, fixing the economy, not wanting a position. Who cares about a position? Nobody cares. Why would you want to be in politics if you have to be selling your soul to another man in order for him to sponsor your campaign? Then you are not supposed to be there. Then it's not your calling because one thing I know is your gift will make room for you. Which means that if you have to be a politician, if God says you're going to be a politician, the funds are already provided. And it's not even about funds. It's about you impacting lives. Majority of politicians already impacting lives. But you can't just wiggle yourself. Like I'm looking at a person like Linda. Linda has been trying. It's not for you, Linda. Join another party and just kind of gallivanting, then do whatever you can do. But in my opinion, it's not for you. As a, you sometimes you need to know your place. If you like women, it's fair place. Go and be in the women's movement, whatever it can be called. Maybe feminist movement. Since you always say you're a feminist, I'm not, a, I'm not one. I'm not a feminist. I don't believe in those things. I still believe men are men. And their leadership is important. Women are women. And their, 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 their submission and also their roles in the world is important. I don't believe in this feminist, whatever it's called. But my point is, sometimes it's knowing that you are not called to be a politician. You're not supposed to be a leader. Know your place and you go and thrive there. But don't force in that into in politics. No. Let it go. Look for something that is good for you, Miss Linda. But now these allegations of a PDP guy, you had him, a leader. Maybe it was a married person because she wanted, the person wanted her to be a concubine. And she said, I can't be someone's concubine. I just wonder who the hell was that? Because the leaders were telling me it was a leader in PDP. Was it, who, was, who else was there? Was it Nube as well? Was it was a leader, if I'm not mistaken? Who else? 
Because, I mean, between those leaders, maybe someone else will ask it, leader, master, <laughs> you know, <laughs> master is actually, it's interesting. But men are always going to be men. Yo, listen, at the end of the day, women need to know how to deal with men. Know why you're there. And be someone who, I, I've, I've met many in, for, in a long time. I mean, I've been um, single you know, for quite a long time. I'm, I've been meeting many in business. I've met many in different spaces. Um, I'm, I'm talking about high caliber men, and I know how they operate. But they respect me because I respect myself. Sometimes it's how women are really handling themselves. Why men behave the way they do. In my opinion, it's not your place. Have boundaries. And, that, and no, there are fine lines they can't cross. And they'll respect you. But if you think you're just a vegetable, they'll play you dirty. A men are always going to be men, unfortunately. But it's for women to say, hey, not here. Not here, sir. Try my neighbor. And never to make it a fuss about it. Okay, men are built to pursue. Men are built and they see women. In the, if you're beautiful, they will, they will tell you they like you. It's what you do with this statement. You know, unless if they pursue a married person. But for me, it's like, that's, that's all men are. Men are built to just tell women I like you. They like it to say I like you, even if they don't. It's what you do with the words, you know. So, Miss Linda, don't take it serious. You know, don't take it to art, man. Men will always going to be men. All of us, we're meeting men all the time. We know how they work, and it's good. You know what I mean? Yeah, okay. The last one that we're going to be looking at is Kiki Bed. You call it Kiki Bed Ass, eh? Your, your, your celebrities, Kiki Bed Ass. So, first and foremost, social media really needs to be understood. I've realized that most people don't know how social media works. There's a lot of faking on social media. That's point number one. And sometimes you may think John is talking to you. I've heard people say, no, little Wayne sent me a message. It's not little Wayne. Or Jay-Z sent me a message. No, it's a fake Jay-Z account that sent you a message. And no, you are thinking Jay-Z, you think you're hot. No, it's a fake page. Now, I don't know what message did she received. That is Kiki Bird us. And then... She began to swore at someone's husband and then the nerve to drop to rob his picture and begin to attack him. She was a hip hop artist kick bed ass is facing a 500,000 lawsuit for a defamatory statement she posted on Instagram. The high court has allegedly authorized lawyer Rodin Macausa to proceed with a lawsuit against Kiki for the same amount. Again, like I said, you need to understand guys that not everything you saw you, you see on social media is is true there's a lot of fakeness like fake lifestyle especially instagram instagram is million times fake i can see young people breaking their neck and breaking their legs trying to think they can be like so and so when people are just showing you lies majority of people are living normal life like we do we have times that we cry we have times that we laugh we have times that we struggle we have times that we get tired but they're just showing those bits and pieces so that you think oh wow no, life is real all day. So before you start bastardizing people, make sure you get your facts right. Because you're not know, swearing at someone's husband. Now they are bringing you a five hundred thousand lawsuit. You may win the lawsuit, and you know I don't know if Kiki Big Ass can even afford that money. Remember last year she got also she's one of the person who got a car from Zone Pay. I'm sure she's gonna sell the car to pay for the lawsuit because <laughs> because she's being sued. For, she said a lot of ugly words. I can never read this nonsense. I don't like the ways that I don't speak. Um, you know, my F words and, you know, attacking the person very heavily. Like I said, maybe it was just someone who was fake and she took it serious and attacking someone's husband. Yeah, you're going to have to attack my man. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm not married. But when I get married... When? I say when because it's a matter of time. But <laughs> you can't talk to my man anyhow. You don't try it. Yeah, you do not. If you talk to my man, I know it means you have talked to me anyhow. Because me and my man, we like together. We are one y'all. So you don't have to do so. You're going to talk to my man with respect. You don't swear to my man. And it is what it is. <laughs> I'll stand for those that I love. I will stand for those that I love. So I understand why the wife got angry and why the lawsuit is on the table. And we're following Mr. Rodney. We're following the story to see where this is going to go and what's going to be happening. Yeah. I want to thank you so much for coming through and uh, for spending a long time with me. Because we didn't record during the day. So we had to push and mix all our stuff. 
it has been a very long uh, day so because i don't want to cut up things for tomorrow and tomorrow is a different day new stories that we're going to be covering so i'm grateful that you guys took uh, stick stick around with me and really you know just having some party with me stuck around sorry yeah so i really appreciate you guys for coming through and i uh, can't wait to talk to you tomorrow okay don't forget to share the life with other people so that they can actually see what's happening in the city this time our eyes are everywhere so you can't hide uh, you know, one of the days here, yeah, Zimbabwe, you could corruption, then you hit our weekend one at Shiva and no, 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 no. Yo, we are like scanning your lifestyle. We can see everything. Our eyes are everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah, so you have nowhere to hide. It's time for you to actually put your houses in order because hmm, we are very close to freedom, yo. Very close to freedom. Very, very close to freedom. I love you all. May God bless you and may God bless Zimbabwe. So see you tomorrow and bye for now.